Hey guys, Eric here, and I'm back with another keyboard build. This is for a friend. Um, they purchased this custom build. They kind of gave me some idea of what they wanted, and then they just kind of said go with it. So that's what I'm going to do. I do know that there are particular themes and things that they like um, in the gaming world. This is going to be a gaming keyboard. So we're going to move forward with this build, and we're going to... Sorry, I just heard a weird noise. We're going to move forward with this build. I'm going to show you the components that I have so far. And then I'm going to take you through the build process. I'm just going to call this friend Chuck. Chuck, this one's for you. We're going to start on your keyboard and we're... I keep hearing a weird noise. Anyway, I don't know what that noise is. Sorry about that. We're going to keep up with this build and... I don't know what's going on. The lights just turned purple. That was weird. Uh, I mean, they're multicolored lights. The fact that they change color isn't weird. The fact that I didn't ask them to change color, that's a little weird. Hey, Google, bedroom lights white. There we go. Okay, so on my previous build, I really liked the switches that I used, the Akko V3 Pro switches. I really liked them, and then, whoa. What? I don't know what's happening, but something just came at me and knocked the package of my switches out of my hand and then the lights went off something really weird's going on i don't know what's happening <laughs> who are you who are you <laughs> why are you in my house why am i here Derry? i'm here to help you with your keyboard build <laughs> You see, you couldn't build a keyboard for Chuck without me. <laughs> and you won't be using those switches either. I've got something better. Show me your face. Who are you? And what do you mean you've got something better? And I will not show you my face. But I've come here to give you something. You'll be using these. And you won't be questioning why. What are these? I've never seen switches like this before. Of course you've never seen switches like this before because I made them! These are my... My... Laughing gas switches. <laughs> Enjoy, Chuck. Enjoy. So, of course, we aren't going to be using Akko Blacks for Chuck's keyboard. We are going to be using Laughing Gas N20s by Mr. Joker. I wanted this base, um, and I'll show you what's unique about it here in just a minute. But um, I got this from Timu, and I'm just going to use the base. This is a mechanical hot swappable keyboard from Timu, and it's called the Attack Shark. They don't mess around on Timu, they attack sharks. Also, all keys has no impact, which I guess is a good thing. Fast response, no fear of various combinations of keys. That's good, because I was afraid of that. I just wanted the base, as I mentioned, and I'm not going to use these keycaps either. And I'm not going to use these switches, and I'm probably going to modify this base. We've got two extra switches that it comes with. We've got a keycap puller, as well as a cable. So this is the bottom. And the entire case is actually clear. It actually sounds really good. And we have volume knob on the front, which is really nice. I'm trying to see how I can get into this base. Let's pull off a keycap. So it's the same. It's a white switch. That is a factory loop switch. These switches actually aren't bad. I'm gonna pull these out and I think I'm gonna reuse these switches for another project as well. Um, this is turning out to be a really nice base actually. We're gonna pull off all the keycaps and all the switches and see if we can get into the space. Here is one of the keycaps. You can see it's clear. It's actually super, super thin really thin plastic um, so I am glad that we are going to uh, replace these keycaps with something else and I got a surprise for that this is what it looks like with all the keycaps out now we need to pull all the switches out and I'm gonna save these 
because they don't sound bad, and they're factory lubed, so why not? all the switches out now we just we have a keyboard kit so now I need to figure out how to take apart this base so using the pry tool I was able to get this off this is nice and this is what the base looks like with it off so I can get rid of that, and I think I'm going to. Just looks out. Oh, beautiful. Nice. Okay. All right. All right, all right. And I'm already seeing some good things. Uh, the battery is not glued down, which is freaking amazing. Oh, battery is unplugged. There's the battery, it's got foam on the bottom, but it's not glued down, which is awesome. Here's that side panel, and then we have the actual PCB itself. So it's got a gasket in here, I'm gonna pull off. Ooh, the stabilizers are factory lubed great so yeah we'll be reusing those stabilizers for sure a little foam there underneath the space bar um this is awesome i love this because space bars are often where you get the most sound um and then we got you know we got our standard keyboard gasket right there we have some thin extra foam here so we got some thin foam here to go over the PCB. Really, really nice. And the PCB itself. And then the metal piece that we are going to paint. I am going to get rid of this. Not that, I'll, I'll probably keep that or I may paint that on a different color. But I'm gonna get rid of that. But underneath we've got foam here with these extra things. I think these just prevent light bleed out the bottom, which is interesting. Or I don't know what that is actually. So, super surprised about the quality of this in a good way, which is great. the back plate this keyboard's got a secret um, so this was painted with special paint and then conformal coating over that so it doesn't flake off this is the internal portion here again purple 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 conformal coating and then we got this here this is the base this was the base conformal coating on it um, not the smoothest job but good enough um, I mean this is the bottom of the keyboard you're not gonna see it much but again, this keyboard and with the keycap is going to look so sweet. Anyway, we're going to put it all back together except for the keycaps because the keycaps are not here yet. But anyway, as I'm talking, I am putting the pieces back in place so we can see what it looks like. And, and hopefully we'll get the switches in too because I got the switches, uh, as you guys know. Plugged in the battery, as you can see. So this plate. It's going to sit right like that.
now can we get a keyboard together please okay clean up the base plate of the extra paint once we have everything together so this is a little light piece I was talking about I will, like I said I will clean up that plug in the battery and I hope that everything still works okay the battery is plugged in and we put the battery inside here just like that okay now this it in here and then the plate goes on top with hopefully everything lined up. Looking much better. Now it's kind of looking like a keyboard. Now we can mount that plastic piece back. All right, and then we can put this piece back on. I believe the clear piece, which will go over and hopefully protect everything. So that is great. This is what it looks like. That's the back, the front panel, and everything went together. I'm happy and surprised. Switches. This is the uh, USB piece, USB dongle. We'll put that back in the bottom. Switches, of course. We are going with our laughing gas and 20s because they match our joker theme i don't i don't have i don't think i have any extras of these so i have to be very very careful before i do that i have to clean up some edges with a razor blade around some of these switch holes which i knew i was gonna have to do all right so i have a problem mistakes were made so not only do i not have the keycaps but I don't have enough switches missing a few switches so I am gonna need to order more laughing gas n20s which is okay because I know that we'll get here before the switches do or I'm sorry keycaps do and I need a custom volume knob of course but before we get to any of that Let's show, let, let me show off what this keyboard is hiding. So a little birdie told me that Chuck's arcade room, chuck booms arcade room is filled with black lights. So hopefully this works. Boom. So it doesn't really show up on camera very well, but it's definitely glowing. That was very anticlimactic and I thought it would look amazing. In real, in person, it looks great. But uh, yeah, not, uh, not on camera. Till next time, we're gonna get the switches, we're gonna get the keycaps, and we're gonna finish up this build and we're gonna ship it out. Hey Chuck, so your keycaps are finally here. The keycaps were Chuck's keyboard, took a while to get here. Um, I ordered them from Goblin Tech Keys. Here's the box that they came in. This is a custom keycap company that I had been seeing advertisements for online all over the place, so I decided to give them a shot. Shipping took a little longer than expected. I ordered the keycap set at the end of January and they just came today. To be fair, they are a Southeast Asian company and there was the celebration of Lunar New Year in between that time, but still, from the end of January till now is a little longer for a shipping time um, than I expected. Key quality seems okay. Um, this is just the, the space bar and I'll show you the complete set of keys once it's on the keyboard itself. 
Um, there is like a little bit of overpainting on the underside. They just look like standard uh, keycaps. The paint quality seems to be decent. I don't know if it'll rub off over time. I hope it won't. Um, these were $90, but I mean, the quality is okay. Shipping time is a little long. I don't know if I can recommend them. However, they are one of the few companies I was able to find where you can, you know, basically put whatever picture you want on a keycap and or keycap set and they will make it and send it to you. I will put a link in the description down below for them if you want to wait a long time for some custom keys, but eventually get them. But yeah, let's finish up this keyboard build. keyboard is complete. I had to use a couple replacement keys as the keys I ordered didn't fully match the layout, but that's okay because it still looks great. Let's do a typing test to see how it sounds. keyboard sounds amazing. It looks solid. I think it came out really good, even though it took a lot longer than expected. This is going to go out to you very, very shortly. And I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. And yeah, thank you for joining me for this keyboard build. Again, Chuck, I hope you enjoy this keyboard. It's going out to you now.